I'm Mr. Sleepy Fob, and you need more space because you only have 64 or 128 gigabytes on your boot drive, maybe 250 or more. You need more space because Windows taking all of it. They're taking all of it. Call me now. 1-800-SAVE-SPACE on your computer. Dot com. Five tips today. I give you five tips. Hey, what's up, guys? Snow's here, and thanks to Mr. Sleazy Fob, I was able to take a 237 gigabyte hard drive with 202 gigabytes free and make it into a 237 gigabyte hard drive with 224 gigabytes free. God damn it, that's over 10 gigabytes of savings. Is that, is that correct? 10 gigabytes, that's 12, 13. Let's figure out how he did that with the first tip. Disabling system protection does have some drawbacks. So make sure you have a backup or a clone of your system if you wanna go ahead and use that as a safe spacing measure. Disabling system protection. This is quite easy. You're gonna click on your file explorer, right click on this PC, click properties, then go ahead and hit system protection. Once here, you're gonna locate the drive for which system protection is on, click on it, hit configure. Take a look at how much space Windows is actually using for that. Go ahead and delete, press continue, close, and then you're going to go ahead and disable system protection, click on apply, yes, and then OK. Go ahead and click on OK one last time, and there you go. System protection has been disabled. Now depending on if you've had this system running for a while or it's a brand new install, you're going to have a varying degree of success in terms of how much you can get out of that. Keep in mind, this will disable system restore points, but if you're like me and have backups on backups, you're gonna be totally fine. Disabling paging files. While it will save you space, you have to keep in mind the risk you're taking. By disabling the paging file, you're preventing your computer from using the disk space as RAM. Because what happens is when your RAM gets to full capacity or is at full capacity, it will start transferring what is unused into the disk drive. Now in my case, I have 16 to 32 gigabytes of RAM, depending on which system I use. And I usually manage what I have open quite well, like all of my YouTube tabs that are open, all of my porn, Pinterest tab that I have open, I manage them well. We're gonna go ahead and click on File Explorer. Right click on this PC once again, choose Properties. This time we're gonna choose Advanced System Settings. Click on it. Then under Performance, go ahead and click on Settings and go to the advanced tab. Here, you can go ahead and click on change, then uncheck automatically manage paging files and select no page file. Then go ahead and press set, then yes, then okay, and okay once again. You have successfully disabled paging files. Now keep in mind that the changes won't appear right away. You're gonna have to go ahead and click on the start button and restart your system to see the difference. Tip number three. Disabling Hibernate. This one is the one that will make the biggest difference in space saving. You're gonna go ahead and click on the Windows button, search for Command Prompt, right click on it, and run as administrator. You're gonna click yes on the prompt, and there we are. Then type in power cfg space dash h space off. And that's it, press enter and you're good to go. You've disabled Hibernate. Now this one's a little different. Compact OS is a utility from Windows that allows you to compress part of the OS binaries so you can recuperate a small amount of memory. I would only recommend that for people who have 64 gigabytes or less on their system boot drive. You're gonna go ahead and open command prompt, run it as admin, click on yes when the little box appears, and then when we're back into command prompt, we're gonna type in compact.exe space forward slash compact OS colon and then always. This will allow us to enable compact OS. If ever you want to disable it, run the same steps, but instead of always, type in never. This step does take a while, so let Windows compact them binaries. Go ahead and take a sip of your Mountain Dew. And once that is done, you can go ahead and exit. The last tip is called Storage Sense. That's actually new to me. If you go on your Windows taskbar, type in Storage, and then click on the Storage option that will appear, you're going to be greeted by this window. You can go ahead and turn on Storage Sense, 
And once it's on, you can click on the change how we free up space to see the option that Storage Sense allows. Here you can see that Windows will delete temporary files that it's not using and delete any files that have been in the recycle bin for longer than 30 days. You can also click on Clean Now, which will free up any space that is used by those two right away. All right, so that was it. Five tips to free up some space on your Windows 10 install. Now, out of all of these options, I personally would recommend to do the Hibernate one. Reason being, it's the one with the least amount of drawbacks. Your system won't lock up or it won't freeze. You won't have any kind of issues with that. You just will not be able to put your computer into Hibernate mode. No page files might cause your system to lock up if you're not careful. CompactOS does give you a performance hit since it needs to decompress these files every time it needs to use them. And Storage Sense actually doesn't really have any drawbacks besides the fact that if you don't want your recycling bin to be emptied, then this might cause you a little bit of an issue. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other tips to save some space on your computer. I'm Snows from Snows Tech. Stay frosty and I'll see you on the next one. All right. Let me draw something for people who don't know how to draw faces. I call him Mr. Flea Bob. Can I call him? Oh no. I just marked my table.